Sing all you nations to our God. Sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record. God's honors and your joys. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Sunday, October the 27th. It's the 23rd week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 63 and 98. Haggai chapter 1, starting at verse 1 to chapter 2, verse 9. And a canticle from Revelation chapter 19, verse 1 through 7. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. Alleluia. Psalms 63 and 98. Alleluia, O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. I gaze on your power and your glory. I see you in your sanctuary. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. And thus I bless you while I live. I lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help in the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul follows hard after you. Your right hand upholds me. But those that seek my life to destroy it shall go to the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by God shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Alleluia, O oh, sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. God's right hand and God's holy arm have gained the victory. God most high has given salvation. God's righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the heathen. God has shown mercy and truth toward the family of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to God Most High, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing to God with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpets and the sound of coronet. Make a joyful noise before God Most High, our ruler. Let the sea and all that is in it roar, the world and all that live there. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills be joyful. Before God Most High, for our God comes to judge the earth with righteousness, shall God judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Haggai, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month on the first day of the month, the word of Yahweh came by the prophet Haggai to Zarubabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the high priest. Thus says the Most High of hosts, These people say the time has not yet come to rebuild Yahweh's house. And then the word of Yahweh came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Is it a time for you yourselves to live in your paneled houses, while this house lies in ruins? Now therefore thus says the Most High of hosts, 
Consider how you have fared. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And you that earn wages, earn wages to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Most High of hosts, consider how you have fared. Go up to the hills and bring wood and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Most High. You have looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why, says Yahweh of hosts, because my house lies in ruins, while all of you hurry off to your own houses. Therefore the heavens above you have withheld the dew, and the earth has withheld its produce. And I have called for a drought on the land and the hills, on the grain, the new wine and the oil, on what the soil produces, on human beings and animals, and on all their labors. And then Zarubabel, son of Shealtiel, and Joshua, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Most High, their God. And the words of the prophet Haggai, as the Most High their God had sent him. And the people feared Yahweh. Then Haggai, the messenger of the Most High, spoke to the people with Yahweh's message, saying, I am with you, thus says Yahweh. And the Most High stirred up the spirit of Zarubabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and worked on the house of Yahweh of hosts, their God, on the 24th day of the month, in the sixth month. In the second year of King Darius, in the seventh month, on the 21st day of the month, the word of the Most High came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zarubabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, O Joshua. Take courage, all you people of the land, says the Most High. Work, for I am with you, according to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit abides among you, do not fear. For thus says the Most High of hosts, Once again, in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations, so that the treasure of the all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with splendor. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine. The latter splendor of this house shall be greater than the former says the Most High of hosts. And in this place, I will give prosperity, says the Most High of hosts. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, that God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of uh, 
Philadelphia. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power to our God. For true and righteous are God's judgments. For God has judged the great whore which corrupted the earth with her fornication and has avenged the blood of the saints at her hands. Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise our God, all you servants of God, and all that fear God, small and great. Alleluia, for God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to God. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his bride has made herself ready. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> 